Hi everyone, it's me, John at Pangalactic. With uh, St. Patrick's Day coming up uh, this Friday, I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, show you some drinks that you can enjoy on St. Patrick's Day. Like, you need an excuse. I mean, we're American. We drink for all the holidays. Uh, however, today, we're going to make Irish coffee. Start off with some uh, three-quarter cups of uh, coffee. So fill up your coffee cup three-quarters of the way. Fresh coffee. Let's do a little bit of sugar in here. I'm just uh, I'm gonna use two bar spoons. Uh, you can use one, whatever you want. Put a little stir. You can use brown sugar or white sugar. I didn't have any brown sugar, otherwise I would have used it. Then this gets two ounces. It's an ounce and a half, but I pour two ounces uh, Jameson. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Pour our two ounces of Jameson in there. Now, if you have Bushmills or uh, you have Tullamore Dew or anything like that, you can use that too. As long as it's an Irish whiskey, it's keeping in the spirit of it. A little stir. I'm going to top it off with some uh, whipped cream. Now, you can use, if you have heavy cream and you whip it, that's totally fine. Uh, we're just going to top it off just like that. And that is your Irish coffee. The other drink we're gonna do today is another uh, one that uh, you can end your night with, if you so choose, is Irish Car Bomb. Now, Irish Car Bomb gets about uh, half a can of Guinness. Pour that right into a uh, pint glass. And you don't fill the pint glass all the way up. You want to fill it up a little better than halfway or just about halfway. And what the idea is you're going to drop this shot glass in here later. And you do, I'm not going to measure these out, but it's going to be about three quarter ounce of each because these are ounce and a half shot glasses. So I'm just going to pour those right in. Oh, my Bailey's isn't pouring as nicely as I should. There it goes. So half a shot of Jameson, half a shot of Bailey's. You take this, drop it right in, and you drink it. Just like that. Now, that one's a good one. One more for the day. So it is St. Patrick's Day. We might as well. We're going to do another drink that I like to do is a black and tan. The next drink we're going to do is a black and tan. I used to love drinking black and tans uh, when I was in my early 20s. They're fantastic, they're delicious, and um, I recommend that you try one. This is the uh, second take, so if I don't get this uh, right this time, I uh, don't know if I'm going to care. You know, I drink all these drinks after I'm done, right? <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to start off by taking a bass ale. I'm pouring it into a very large glass. Now, like that. Now I open up my Guinness. I use my uh, snake bite here to pierce the, uh, the top there so it pours nicely. The last time I did this, like five minutes ago, it, um, it didn't separate as nicely as I would like it. Probably has something to do with the shape of this glass. Uh, more than anything else. So I'm going to try really hard to make sure that this one separates a little bit nicer. Whenever you do a, a layered drink like this, or a layered, uh, whether it's a B-52 or a, a flag shot or anything like that, you really want to make sure that the layers are distinct. This looks really nice. A snake bite as uh, an angry orchard with Guinness on top, um, a, bat, you know, a black and tan or a, a black and 
glue, anything like that. What you really want is a nice demarcation of the two different things that you're pouring into the glass. We'll do a B-52 later because I love the hell out of those things. Ah, uh, shit. However, this is what it should look like, not the mess that I made of it last time. So, there you have it. That is your St. Patrick's Day Pan Galactic Special, and I hope you have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you tip your bartenders, and I hope that you take a cab or an Uber wherever you need to go, and uh, in general, have a great time, because you know what? Life is short, man. Take it easy, guys. You have a great night and a good weekend, too.